Hello YouTube, it's Andy again, and uh, this is going to be another Firebase uh, tutorial. This one's going to be on the console and how to add items from the console into your online database. Now I've got a few questions on this before, uh, earlier on how do I add items from the console. Uh, and it's real simple, but I think what throws people off is how I've put the data in here before. Uh, this little key here that starts with K on all of these, and I, th I think it's throwing people off. Uh, these are uh, just generic numbers that would normally correlate to uh, a timestamp for Fire Firebase. But the way that I've imported these three uh, locations is actually um, by importing a JSON file, uh, and you don't have to do that. So uh, we're going to go in here to Rooms and we're going to hit this positive. Uh, and this is going to add a child. Now if I don't put a name and a value with something here, it's not going to save. Um, so how do I get around that? Well, it's actually very simple. So notice how this doesn't have a value. Uh, we're just going to put in some random um, item in here. I'm just going to put one. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, this will work without it. So instead of adding a value here, we're going to add another child to this. And this just follows JSON nomenclature. So we're going to put in an address for this um, new item. We're going to put in a name. And we're also going to put in a URL. Now, uh, I've come over here to uh, Escape Topia as one of the ones that I'm going to add. Um, I'm actually just going to do Fort, La Fort Lauderdale, Florida for the location to keep it consistent with what I've done with the recent ones. So we'll paste that there. We'll give it a name of Escape Topia. And we need a URL. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. Now I have an instance of the database here in my app, the current version that I, um, as of the last video. Uh, nothing has changed except I've updated the libraries and that's it. Um, so as you can see, nothing has been saved yet. Uh, when I hit the add button here, uh, you'll notice that this is going to turn yellow and indicating that something has changed um, in its children. This is all going to be green, which is going to indicate that it's new. Uh, and then this is also going to update with the new value. In fact, let's see if we can make this smaller so we can show it all at the same time because this is the beauty of having something like this like uh, this online database that's real time okay so I'm gonna hit add yellow green and then it gets added here it's really neat alright so I hope you like this tutorial uh, if you have any questions leave a comment in the section below and uh, have a good night